Hey, what's up? This your girl, Comedic Comedian Profitus, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards <clears throat> based off the meanings. I read cards based off what spirit tells me. The holy angels and the divine. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. And I'm going to do a reading for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, whatever's going on in Karmicville. Hmm. Okay, let's pray, y'all. Y'all also know I read odd and even angel numbers. Y'all know the intro, okay? Anyhow, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, I ask you to send your greatest white light. And please give me clear and precise messages. Protect my crown chakra. Protect my throat chakra. Protect me from any harm or entity that does not want me to speak and does not want me to get messages out. Neighbor, whatever. Archangel Met Metatron, Gabriel, Raziel, thank y'all. Amen. So, I think that this particular message is going to be for a divine feminine maybe divine masculine possibly both i'm here and stepping out on something i'm here and stepping out on something and i'm here and like stepping out on faith and on faith oh whatever this should be good he got doing starbucks drinks but what i'm hearing is is like stepping out into something or stepping out on it on faith i feel like Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you're either a God or a Goddess. Okay, because we have Goddess of Creation here. Transformation, creativity, wholeness, achievement. Okay, achievement, keep focused on your dream. And then we have Moonlight Goddess here. It came out in the reverse, but I'm going to read it in the upright. Repressed emotions, healing, reflection. I feel like somebody is literally about to pop out. Like literally. Okay, yeah, yeah, apprehension, moving out into the world, doubt, fear. I feel like somebody is gonna pop out like on the on, on the scene. Okay, I'm hearing I'm hearing two chains in my head. I'm different. Yes, I'm different. Pull up to the scene with the silly missing. Yeah, I feel like somebody really finna pop out and show these motherfuckers how it's done. This could be a this could actually be this could actually be a divine couple, like a divine union. Or this could just be you, divine feminine, divine masculine. Maybe you purchased a new home or a new car. I feel like somebody finna come into some money. Or maybe you've already came into this money. Yeah, somebody is about to receive justice for something. I feel like there has been some type of delay regarding maybe your finances, uh, your home. Something could be going on with your children. I feel like there's some, there's been some type of delay or something that has happened with your foundation. Yeah, star card here. Somebody is definitely about to receive justice, justice card here, and somebody is definitely about to be in the public eye. Okay, with apprehension here, moving out into the world. I feel like somebody, yeah, two of cups here. Somebody is about to partner up with somebody here. I feel like there has been a king of swords here. Now, this could be a male or a female. This could be anybody. This, is, this has been somebody here. To do. Somebody here, damn, this is fucked up. Somebody here does not want a god or a goddess to receive justice. And they don't want you in the public eye, okay? All because you don't want to partner up with them. So this could be some type of ex-lover or something like that that's mad because you don't want to partner up with them. You don't want a connection with them. You don't want to be in a relationship with them. But I'm here. You're finna pop out anyways, okay? If this is not an ex-lover, this could be a family member or an ex-friend or whatever the fuck. Page of Cups here in the reverse. This could even be a parental figure. Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, uh, as usual, per usual, people be trying to play God in people's life, but I don't feel like that's the gist of this reading. I'm here, you're going to pop out by any means necessary. Okay, this could be next week, next month. This could be today. Maybe today you popping out. Maybe today you riding around with the roof, with your roof open. I mean, with just whatever. Y'all understand what I'm saying. Somebody could have a Mercedes. Okay, I'm hearing something about a drop top or something like that. Somebody could have a significant haircut. Okay, or something like that. Somebody finna pop out. I mean, I'm seeing somebody like wash their car. Somebody could be washing their car today. I'm hearing, I'm hearing automobile. 
somebody could be a car salesman or somebody just bought a new car. Somebody, somebody finna pop the fuck out. Listen, I don't know what you're doing, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I think this is gonna be a short, quick, quick to the point message. But I'm here. Somebody finna pop out. This is your karma. This is your karma, and this is your justice. And I feel like whoever this King of Swords is, Queen of Pentacles, whoever the fuck, male or female, that's paying. So this Queen of Pentacles here could be paying the King of Swords to take you out to a hitman or something like that to sacrifice you to take you out or whatever the fuck. I'm getting a download here. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm getting a download here. So it's different for everybody. One second. You're itching. Um, damn earphones so this queen of Pen pentacles could be working with this with this king of swords somebody paid somebody here whoever this king of pentacles this is a female i'm sorry i feel like it's a man and a woman working together but i feel like the, it's, a, it's a female here that's a queen of pentacles that's a ring leader this could actually be this king of swords wife or baby mama or this could be your own mother but somebody is paying somebody or this queen so okay listen if this queen of if this king of swords is this queen of pentacles wife this queen of pentacles here uh is broke i feel like this is somebody that's broke i feel like this king of swords may take care of this queen of pentacles here or something like that they could have hyped this Queen of Pentacles up to try to take you out, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I'm, I'm, I'm heavy picking up on a Divine Feminine. Or this could be your own mother or something like that. So I don't know. I don't care if this is your mother. This is somebody baby mother. I'm hearing a female. Somebody here was paid. Somebody hired this King of Swords to take you out. Or maybe this King of Swords here is your ex. And because you don't want to partner up with them, they're working with this Queen of Pentacles to take you out. This Queen of Pentacles could be a baby mother, your wife, your ex-wife, ex-girlfriend. This could be your mother, divine masculine, divine feminine. But somebody is determined they don't want you to receive justice. They don't want you to get this karma, this good karma, this great fortune. But I'm hearing you're going to pop out anyway. Huh? How about that? Damn, I just seen the justice card again. Tower card here. I feel like whatever they've been doing to try to bring an ending to your foundation, to keep you from moving out into the world, to keep you from, a re from reaching your goal, whatever that may be, it's not going to work. You're still going to get justice. Look at this justice card. Look how this lady is smiling on this card. I feel like somebody does not want a god or a goddess to get justice. We have the page of pentacles here. Yeah, man, they're gonna have to watch you eat. You see how shocked they is? Look how they look. You see how you see how these two people here look like they're on camera. Or they got cameras in their hand. I feel like this could be the this could be like social media here. Or this could be like the media. Somebody's gonna definitely be in the public eye. I, I feel like you're you're destined. That's your life. Not for all of you. Okay, it's like some of you may end up on the red, red carpet. You may end up having a, a, a star on the Walk of Fame, for all I know. Somebody is legendary here. Somebody will go down in history. Now, that's not for all of you. Some of you just may end up being in the public eye, meaning you might be known in your community or your town or your neighborhood. I feel like the more attacks that this queen is, it's, it's a couple here. It's either a couple here or this could be a, this could even be siblings. This could be a parental figure. It's different for everybody. There's something about you moving out into the world. But I'm, I can feel this shit in the anointing and the spirit. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get this money too. Somebody's going to get some money. I feel like if you have not watched that reading, what I talked about, a windfall of money, somebody's going to get it, man. Yeah, three of Pentacles here. World card here. You're definitely destined to be on some type of world stage. I'm hearing something about Dora the Explorer. Somebody's daughter or somebody's child could like Dora the Explorer, uh, Explorer or some shit like that. Or you've been on some type of journey or you've been exploring or trying to. Yeah, Empress car here. Male or female, Six of Swords here in the reverse. Yeah, they've been trying to push you back from receiving some type of justice. I'm hearing something about like a a heartfelt apology. Somebody wants to give you a heartfelt felt apology, but I'm hearing it's fake. They just want to they just want to join you. I'm hearing if I can't beat you, I'm going to join you. If I can't destroy you, then I might as well partner up with you. This could have been in the past, but you don't want to partner up with this person anymore. This whole reading right here is pathetic. I'm not finna, I'm not going to dig deep into this shit. I already see what's going on. 
okay? But it's different for everybody. There is a king of swords here that's in a relationship with the queen of pentacles that's attacking a empress. Now, this king of swords here, this king of swords could be your ex, divine feminine. They working with their baby mama or their wife or something like that. Or this, this don't even have to be a romantic partner. This could be your own mother, a queen of pentacles that's destined to pay the hitman. Or some type of king of swords to, 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 to come in and try to partner up with you, love bomb you, and take you out. Okay? Same for you, Divine Mask. And this could be your baby mama, your ex-girlfriend, your ex-wife. This bitch didn't pay somebody to take you out. So you can't get to your empress. Or whatever the fuck. But it don't matter. I'm not finna dig deep into this shit. What I'm seeing here is, is that a goddess or a god, male or female, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, a chosen one possibly, a star seed. You're about to move out into the world. You're about to pop out. And these motherfuckers going to have to see you all over the news, all over TV, all over camera, or all in your community, all in your town, all in your neighborhood. Ace of Cups here. Yeah, God got a blessing for you. I'm here to go get your blessing. It's yours. It's your time. I just seen the hair fin. That's all this reading is about, is that you're about to pop out. Get ready to pop out because you're going to pop out real smooth on they bitch ass. Real quick on their ass. Yeah, they gonna be in regret about this. Five of Cups here, they already in regret because they know you finna pop out. Somebody finna really pop out. Look at this star card here. Tower card here. This is a breakthrough. A major goddamn breakthrough. Ace of Pentacles, star card, tower card. The tower card don't always necessarily have to be bad. But I wanna see what the hell is gonna happen to this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Justice card again. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, King of Swords here, Justice card, uh, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody gonna have to pay back some money. If anybody stole some type of money from you, so I feel like whatever this Ace of Pentacles was, this was always your money. But this Queen of Pentacles stole it. This is how they became a Queen of Pentacles because they've been living off of Empress forever. This could be your own mother that has been living off of you, off of your, off of your abundance, whether that's spiritually or physically. But I'm hearing somebody gonna have to pay that shit back. Okay, this King of Swords here. This could even be a sibling or something like that. I feel like somebody got to pay back money. Look, it keep coming out. Ace of Pentacles here. Somebody got to pay this. Damn, this shit came out three times. The Ace of Pentacles came out once, twice, three times. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody stole a lot of goddamn money from you. Period. Somebody stole a lot of fucking money and they're going to have to give it back. Or go to jail. <laughs> Justice card here. Somebody going to have to pay this back. And I feel like whoever these people that's involved with these two individuals, they in big trouble and they know they in big trouble. Yeah. I'm not finna tap into this deep shit. I'm not. I didn't. I feel like I didn't picked up already on this shit. Six of Pentacles here. I feel like I didn't already get yeah, eight of Pentacles here. I mean, yeah, eight of yeah, eight of Pentacles here. Keep working hard. Keep 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 doing. Keep, keep moving forward, divine feminine, divine masculine. I'm hearing that your hard work is not gone gone unnoticed. The Most High God sees sees what you're doing. You have a hell of a future, a hell of a destiny. It's very bright. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You are about to receive justice for something. I'm hearing you're about to pop out. Yeah. And all these motherfuckers that's working in cahoots to try to break you or destroy you, it's over for them. But again, I'm not tapping into that. I want to know what. But I'm seeing it, man. I don't want to say too much because I know we got trolls here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles here. Six of Swords here. Keep selling on the common waters. Keep moving forward. It's coming. Yeah, Death card here. There's about to be an ending to this bullshit. So whatever this setup is, or whatever this corruption is that I'm not going to tap into, Hairfit, the Most High God is all over this. When I'm telling you somebody finna pop the fuck out, I'm seeing it in the spirit. <clears throat> somebody finna pop out like magic. I'm for real. I'm seeing it. And I feel like all these motherfuckers gonna have to watch you pop out. They might be watching you pop out on, on the news. Cause they, some of these people gonna be on the news for committing a, a crime. I'm hearing accessory after the fact. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles right here. She keep on coming out. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse now. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody just stole a lot of goddamn money. The Ace of Pentacles came out three times. Not once, not twice, but three times. Man, somebody could have stole money in the millions. Your own mama. 
at, at Empress Queen of Pentacles, or if this is a couple attacking a divine feminine or a divine masculine or a divine masculine, this your ex wife or ex girlfriend or whatever the fuck they stole a lot of goddamn money and it's gonna have to be returned back to sender. I don't care if they stole money in the physical or they stole your spiritual abundance. Again, yeah, eight of, eight, of, eight, of, eight of wands here, king of swords here in the reverse. Yeah, this king of swords keep coming out, three of cups here. This, uh, this could have definitely been a third party situation for some of you. Like I said, some of you could, this could be a love situation. So what I mean by that, what do you mean by that, KMP? If this is some type of third party situation, your, this karmic, a karmic masculine or a karmic feminine could have tried to pull and take your abundance, your spiritual abundance, your spiritual inheritance and give it to a karmic. And these motherfuckers have been attacking you and that's about to come to an end. Or this could be your own goddamn mama your own, or your own family and your, or your mother and your father that stole a lot of goddamn money from you. Or this could be both situations. You could have had a fucked up ex that tried to pull from you and take from you spiritually or physically in your family. I don't know. But I'm hearing it, it don't matter. Yeah, because the Empress is finna pop out. The Emperor is finna pop. You're gonna pop out regardless. She might pop out together. I mean, I wish y'all could see what I'm seeing in the spirit, man. Somebody finna pop the fuck out. I mean, for real. I'm, I'm seeing. Now listen, I'm not a materialistic person at all okay you know and i'm pretty sure you divine feminine divine master y'all probably not materialistic you know that's why god blesses his his humble his humble servants he he will bless you tremendously for remaining humble and i feel like divine feminine divine master you've been humble a long time and it's now it's time it's time for you to get your blessing after receiving all these betrayals some of these be betrayals were unnecessary but see, God, with the Ten of Swords here, God allowed you to go through it. Yeah, you will be loved and admired. And whatever illusions that's being put up about you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, that's going to be wiped clean. I'm hearing somebody's record. I'm hearing somebody's record is about to be wiped clean. Now, for some of you, that may mean your actual record is going to be expunged. But I'm not hearing it. I'm hearing your spiritual record. I feel like you, you've, you've created so much good karma for yourself, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Like, yeah, Spirit said that's the truth. You created so much good karma for yourself. I mean, where is the bad karma? I mean, you didn't done. It's like, damn. Some of you could have definitely gone through a heavy dark night of the soul, heavy spiritual awakening, kundalini awakening. Magician card here. Yeah, you've manifested a life of abundance. Do you not see this? I know you can't see this because you can't see what I'm seeing in my third eye. But this is so much motherfucking money. This is so much goddamn abundance. It's like overkill. Somebody tried to overkill and take from you. Whatever this is that they've tried to take or steal, it's going to be returned back to sender. Period. It has to be. This is too much money here that's been stolen. I don't care if this is an ex-lover that tried to steal it and play God in your life. I don't care if this is somebody mama here too though. Somebody mama here is not shit. They do not want you to be happy. They do not want you to be successful. Somebody wants to control your life and bread from you. Your own mama or your sister or some shit like that. Somebody really wants you to juggle two of pentacles here. <clears throat> Excuse me y'all. But somebody really wants somebody to jump in here. I'm not finna, I'm not finna tap into this deep shit, even though I'm seeing it. What is this spirit? Yeah, Knight of Cups here in the reverse. There's also some fuck nigga out here, King Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, it's different for everybody. This could be a lover that stole from you. Somebody tried to steal your spirit, your spiritual inheritance, your spiritual abundance. This is an ex-lover, male or female, or this could be your family. Or this could be all the above. What is this spear? Yeah, two of wands here. They're trying to keep you stuck waiting. Hangman here. Like I said, didn't I just tell you they're trying to keep you stuck? But I feel like you're too enlightened for something. I'm hearing, hold on to your love. You got to hold on. Yeah, eight of cups here in the reverse. Somebody do not want you to walk away. Or somebody's trying to get you to walk away from something or somebody. Yeah, a tower card here. Man, that's going to be a major tower. And you know what the major tower is? Whatever this is, because I don't care about whatever this is, because I'm tired of picking up on the same shit. The major tower here is, is that divine feminine, divine masculine, whatever these third parties got going on, this ex-lover, ex-friend, family member, 
whatever they stole, whatever they took, whatever the hell they got going on, there is a tower here. Magician here. What is the tower? The tower is, is that you finna pop the fuck out. Boom. I'm here. Move, bitch. Get out the way. How this sound? How this sound? Let me get your autograph, Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. Let me take a picture with you, Divine Feminine, Divine Mask, Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. You look lovely. Pose for the camera. Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. Oh my God, what kind of car is that that you drive? Oh my God, Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. That's a nice piece of chain. That's a nice watch you got on. That's a nice chain you got on. Oh, I love your hair, Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. Nice shoes. What are those? Is that Versace, Divine Feminine, Divine Mask? Divine Mask. And what are you wearing tonight? Is that is that Prada? Is that Gucci? Is that Balenciaga? What is that? Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. Oh my God, is that a yacht? Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. Is that a jet? Oh Lord, Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. I just gotta get a picture with you, Divine Feminine, Divine Mask. <laughs> they mad because you don't want to partner up with them. <laughs> Two of Cups. They mad because they not your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. They mad because they not your empress, divine masculine. They mad because they sold they sold to the devil. And you did it. And all the spell work that they keep doing ain't working. And you still finna what? Pop the fuck out. Boo! And you're gonna be in love. And you're going to be happy. Yeah, they might be shedding some tears. It says, tears cleanse the soul. Yeah, cry me a river, right? Tell them to cry you a river. Cry me a river. Cry me, cry me. Cry me a river. Cause they finna be heartbroken because they know it's coming. And who, man, somebody just stole so much goddamn money from you. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles came out three times. Not once, not twice, but three times. Five of Pentacles, so they finna be broke. It's like, damn, how you gonna, look, they already broke. How the fuck you gonna steal from somebody? They, 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 money out of a will or an inheritance or I'll get to the other uh, download in a minute. But how you gonna steal money out of a will, money out of an inheritance and you're already broke? You can't even, you don't even have money to pay divine feminine, divine masculine back. You going to jail just for that. I mean, you spent up all the money. I mean, goddamn, what did you, I mean, come on now. Don't get me wrong. Divine feminine, divine masculine. I'm not materialistic. I'm pretty sure you guys are not materialistic. If you're materialistic, I don't know. You need to work on that. I ain't going to say you're not chosen, but you need to work on that. But divine feminine, divine masculine, these people didn't do nothing with your money. They didn't go buy a school. They didn't try to clean up the neighborhood. They didn't go feed the homeless. They didn't give back to the community. They went and bought stupid shit with your money. And got the nerve to be mad at you for trying to go spend your money the way that you want to go spend your money. But they took your money and spent your money the way that they wanted to spend it. I mean, they bought houses and cars and clothes and shoes and jewelry. They took trips. They went to the basketball games. I mean, not no regular basketball game. Not no little league football or nothing, nothing like that. I mean, they went to Lakers games. Bulls games. Mavericks games. I mean, they went to football games. Baseball games. Sea World, Disney World, Orlando Studios, motherfucking Hurricane Harbor, Six Flags, fucking the World Mall. I mean, I don't know. They probably went to the White House with your money. I mean, they didn't been everywhere with your goddamn money. Everywhere. And spent your money, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, the way that... But I don't understand this. They have the audacity to be mad because they know you're going to get this money back. Because I'm hearing some of this money, it had insurance on it. Your grandmama or your granddaddy put insurance on it or whoever left you this. They put insurance on it. Oh, it's so much chaos going on because they know you're going to get this money. You're going to pop out. So Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, what you going to do with the money? You're going to probably need an accountant, an attorney, a lawyer, something. What, what are you going to do with all of this money? Because when you get this goddamn money, 
I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want to do with it. These the, the, these people that sold, they sold to steal your goddamn money. They don't want you to do nothing with it. But they did everything that they wanted to do with it. Meaning, so why come you can't do what you want to do with it? But I'm here and be mindful. But I, you know what? If you've been a humble servant, if you have been a humble servant for the most high God, why wouldn't you do the right thing with the money? Of course, anybody in their right mind... But these people ain't got no common sense because come on now, how you gonna have the Ace of Pentacles came out three times? How you gonna have all this money and be broke? Divine feminine, divine masculine ain't stupid. You know what I'm saying? Of course, people want nice cars and clothes and jewelry, but take care of the basics first. Get you a nice home. You know what I'm saying? Buy you a nice home first. Pay cash for it or something. Buy you some land. Invest in something. Make sure you're going to keep that money coming back in. These people didn't do that. They got the money and just splurged. Oh, my God. They was at the furniture store. They was at the shoe store. They, I mean, I mean, they wasn't at no regular furniture store. I'm not talking about them going to mom and pop shop furniture store down the street. You know what I'm saying? They went to Haverty's and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. They probably went to a furniture store that, you know, you ain't never heard of. They didn't win. I mean, my goodness. They shot. They went to uh, Hollywood, Beverly Hills. I don't fucking know. I mean, you know, they were shopping on I mean, Somebody got all types of Versace and Prada and Prada and Gucci and a designer. This designer. That Balenciaga. I mean, come on. I mean, come on now. They, I mean, you know. They weren't drinking just wine. They weren't drinking Moscato, you know what I'm saying? They was drinking the ex most expensive wine they can find. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They was going to go buy two and three hundred dollars steaks. You know what I'm saying? They weren't drinking just regular li liquor, you know what I'm saying? They was buying Bel Air and this, that, and the third, and champagne, and not no regular cheap champagne, you know, $3,000 a bottle. I mean, I mean, come on, man. somebody didn't went to, I mean, it, it was motherfucking, goddamn, the whole family didn't split y'all money, these people that didn't stole these inheritances, and look at them in chaos, it's full of chaos, they all up in their head, five of, five of wands in the five of swords, look at all these fives coming out, that's low vibrational, five, five, five could be significant, they celebrated too quickly with your motherfucking money. <laughs> And you finna get it back and you're gonna be able to pop out the way the fuck you wanna pop out. And if I was y'all, I wouldn't give nobody a red cent. I know the fuck I wouldn't. Shit, when they was popping out, they didn't say divine masculine, divine feminine, you wanna ride? You wanna come with us? No, nah, they was laughing. They were laughing to the bank with your money, divine feminine, divine masculine. Let's not tell divine feminine, divine masculine about the money in the will or the inheritance. We're not going to do that because if we do that, then we're not going to have any money for ourselves. But you mean to tell me you got the, the Ace of Pentacles came out three times? I don't know what I did with that other card, but it came out three times. That means this one no hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five thousand dollars. This is in the millions or a half a million, and you don't got no more money left. Your heart ain't right. You didn't deserve. That's how I know y'all didn't deserve that money because your heart ain't right. Because if I had that type of money, I'm at least gonna give back to the less fortunate, the homeless. Damn, you could have went to Walmart and made some sandwiches and some peanut butter and, 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 and fucking passed it out to the homeless. You could have did a good deed. I feel like these are the type of motherfuckers that are steal your money. They won't even get $2 to a crackhead for a beer. For a malt liquor beer or some shit. They, they, they don't give shit back. They greedy than a motherfucker. And you broke. And you got the nerve to try to play God in somebody's life. You got the nerve to keep try to keep somebody from getting to their destiny. From living in their calling. Fuck all y'all, period. Now, that could be your family, or this could be an ex-lover. There is a karmic-ass masculine out here, or a karmic-ass feminine that you don't fucking want. Or maybe you do want this person. I don't know. If you do want this person, you better be careful, collective. But there's somebody out here that's mad because you don't want them because they chose a karmic over you. And I'm telling you, it's different storylines I keep picking up. This motherfucker could actually be in jail for doing something to you, hitting you, abusing you, or whatever the fuck. Or they can be in jail because, I don't know, they just going through karma, or they finna go to jail for doing something to you, male or female. I don't care if this is a man or a woman. But somebody here is mad because you, you, you long gone. Are you finna be long gone? Somebody here is mad because they tried to sacrifice you and it didn't work. This is an ex-lover here that's sitting up doing spell work. They could be working with people, working in cahoots. Oh, why? You know, 
people love to work in cahoots, don't they? Every reading I do, don't I say that they work in cahoots? They can't never ride solo dolo like we do. You know what I'm saying? They can't never keep their circle small like we do. You know, they always got to work in cahoots. They always got to work together to, to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's too hard to do it by themselves because they know they can't beat you by themselves. They got to get somebody to jump on the bandwagon. And everybody that jumped on the bandwagon is finna be, it's finna, it's finna be, uh, taking the fuck out while you popping the hell out. You finna pop out. I'm gonna just tell you that now. The King of Cups keep popping out. Yes. Now somebody in love with you. Now somebody want to be with you. Now somebody is contemplating saying, damn, I should have chose Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. They self-sufficient, abundant, and they got a hell of a future. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands here. I shouldn't have worked in cahoots. I shouldn't have chose that third party over Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. They was the one the whole time. Now look at me. I'm going to just do some spell work. Got to keep Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine from moving forward. I'm going to just do some spell work. I'm a destiny swap with them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to keep them from moving forward because I don't want them to be a family. Matter of fact, I'm going to work with their family because I got to become a king of pentacles. I'm divine feminine, divine masculine. They don't, they, 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 you can't leave me behind. You're not going to leave me behind. I'm sorry I sold my soul to the devil. I'm sorry I didn't want you. I didn't like you. I didn't choose you. I'm sorry I didn't think you were good enough. Spirit said this is the truth. I'm sorry, divine feminine, divine masculine. Five of wands here in the reverse. I, yeah, sending chaos your way. High priestess here. You possibly already know this is going on. Eight of pentacles here. Same cards keep coming out. But this is irrelevant. You still gonna pop out. Again, whether these people stole from you in the physical or the spirit, an ex-lover, your family, your parental figure, whoever this is, whatever they stole, it's gonna be returned back to you. You know what? Some of the stuff that they stole, you might not never get it back. You might not never see that again. But God is gonna restore you. What they stole, it won't even mean anything. It won't even matter. It's not even gonna matter. This is sad. <laughs> this reading is so fucking sad, bro. These people that stole all this shit sad and funny at the same time. These people that stole all this motherfucking shit. They just stole all this goddamn shit and you still gonna be replenished. Replenished. You know, like when you drink Gatorade and shit, you get your electrolytes and shit because you know water only do so much, you still get replenished. You know what I'm saying? They thought they thought that they emptied out your cup. Come on, spirit. Come on, somebody. They thought that they empty, emptied out your cup. Didn't the Ace of Cups came out, come out? They thought that they emptied out the, your cup. They thought that your cup would, would they, they thought they took everything from you. They thought they sabotaged you. They thought your they thought they ruined you. But your cup will overflow if adjustments are required on your behalf. Just keep holding on to the most high. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, keep working on yourself because stuff is starting to pick up. You finna pop out now. You finna pop out and see what I don't understand is, is that why come you can't pop out and do what you want to do with your money? The answers that you need are coming. I'm telling you, you're going to get some type of message in the mail over the phone. You might win a case or do something. I don't know. A time for healing. Yeah, these people need to go heal. You don't mind. You might not need to go heal. You know, I keep telling y'all there's going to be some stuff you're going to see that's going to make it hard to smash. It's going to be some stuff you're going to hear. It's going to be some messages you're going to get. You're going to be like, damn, they did that? Sometimes, God, sometimes you get your heart broken. You know what I'm saying? In order for you to fix your vision. Because when you find out what these people took and said and did and, and stole and psh, believe in the impossible, God is definitely a way maker. You feel what I'm saying? And there's almost there's always room for more healing. There's always always room for more growth. Let's put it like that. Thinking of you. A loving thought, serendipity. Yeah. Rising above in the reverse. Clarity, freedom, solution. Didn't I just tell you that this situation is going to fix your vision? Some of this shit might break you and hurt you, but it's going to fix your vision. And I ain't going to say break you. It's going to hurt you, but it's definitely going to fix your vision. These people cannot stop thinking of a way to destroy you, ruin you, and sabotage you, but nothing is going to work. Keep rising above the bullshit. I'm not going to get deep off into this shit, but I am going to pick up on this motherfucking, uh... 
money. It's so much goddamn money here. This is ridiculous. But you finna pop out. Boom. I'm hearing DMX in my head. Stop. Drop. Shut them down. Open up shop. Oh, no. That's our Wolf Riders roll. Somebody need to go see that movie Down to Earth with Chris Rock. Somebody's, somebody's divine counterpart is here. If you have not seen that movie Down to Earth with Chris Rock, go see it. That's a good movie. Somebody's divine counterpart is a reincarnated soul. Somebody's divine counterpart is a god and a goddess. A god and a goddess is about to come into union. Several of you, possibly. Ten of Pentacles here. Ten, I told you. Ten of Cups here. This is a divine union. I'm hearing the Brady Bunch, Brady Bunch again. Possibly two individuals that will have a blended family. Yeah, look, Emperor card, Justice. There he go. Divine Feminine. It's King of Cups. That's enlightened like you. A god and a goddess. I'm hearing stop. Drop. Shut them down. Open up. Shut. I don't know why I'm hearing it. Oh, no. That's a rough rider's road. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that. Yeah, these people, these people finna be here for a rude of fucking awakening. I'm gonna tell you that now. These people finna be in for a rude awakening. Just over for these motherfuckers. Look, Ace of Cups. You finna be, you finna pop out. Now I got, I just got one question. Put it in the comment section. What you gonna do with that money? Cause these motherfuckers that's working in cahoots, they don't want you to get it. They never wanted you to have it. What you gonna do with the money? Y'all might hear the, uh, the, the lawnmower people outside cutting the grass. But yeah, I swear to God, don't they be doing that type of shit on purpose? They be doing that shit on purpose, bro. I swear to God they do. Now, I could have sworn that they just cut all the goddamn grass earlier. They cut all the goddamn grass earlier. Now, here they come. They they had just they did that early this morning. They just came out of fucking nowhere. It's like somebody be giving word. Or, I don't know. I don't care. But you finna pop it out, divine feminine, divine masculine. Motherfuckers is finna be shocked because some something gonna go viral. Something gonna be all over the news. You finna receive justice. Motherfuckers mad because you don't want to partner up with them. Mad because. You on a divine mission. You got a divine union. Mad because you finna be in the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, mad because they lied about something or they stole something. Ace of Swords here. Mad because you speak some type of truth. I don't know. Somebody definitely don't want something to be exposed. This ex-lover here, your family here, but it's finna come out in court. I'm hearing a high federal profile court case or some shit like that. I just keep hearing DMX in my head. Stop, drop, shut them down, open up, shot. Whoa, that's our rough. I don't know. Some of this shit, man. Somebody, yeah, these people finna be taken the fuck out, man. These people finna go, man. All because you evolved. Evolution, earth changes, climate change, the transformation. Somebody didn't want you to transform. I mean, this shit is irrelevant. I'm not finna tap into the same bullshit, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. You finna pop out, and I just got one question. Okay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that song by 50 Cent in my head. 21 questions. Girl, it's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down? And now, would you still have love for me? Ain't that 21 questions? Yeah, 21 questions. And it's all about us. Da -da 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 -da. Somebody finna go to jail for a very long time. And somebody finna get out of jail. This could be your person. Your person could be incarcerated. Your person could be locked up. Or, you know, or somebody. I feel like somebody is coming in. This karmic masculine is going in. And there's a divine masculine that might be coming out. And there's a divine feminine that, that uh, damn, damn. I'm hearing pen pal, divine masculine. Your divine feminine could be locked up or somebody could be trying to get a divine feminine locked up. It's not going to work. I'm hearing it never is going to work. Somebody could be trying to get a divine masculine or a divine feminine put into confinement or uh, or uh, get locked. I'm hearing whatever this plot was or this plan was, it's not going to work, man. You finna pop out. 
And I just got one question. All I want to know is, look, your, your spirit guides are here helping you. All I got is one question. What you going to do with this money? Because see, what's pissing me off about this reading is these people, they already don't want you to have it. And they don't want you to believe in yourself because you can do it. But it's, it's you know, it's the fact that these motherfuckers don't want you to spend your money. They stole your fucking money. And they don't want you to spend your money the way that you want to spend your money. But they spent your money the way that they wanted to spend it. Like, make it make sense, bruh. How you gonna steal somebody money and spend it the way you wanna spend it and then get mad because they wanna spend their money? I don't care if you want... Look, I, you can do whatever the fuck you wanna do with your money. Didn't they do whatever the fuck they wanted to do with your money and didn't give you none of the money and left you out in the cold? I don't care if you already got your own money. Somebody could have did this because they felt like, well, uh, Divine Master and Divine Feminine already got their own money. So what? They already wealthy. So it's still your money or they already or maybe you really did. You probably really needed this money. Maybe you're in poverty. Whether you're in poverty or not, somebody felt like you didn't deserve this fucking money. You don't deserve it. So, you know, what I'm saying? since you don't deserve it, then they gon' But your grandmama or your granddaddy thought you deserved it. I feel like your grandparent could have left you every fucking thing. They didn't leave nobody, nothing in your family. You, you, you inherited the whole inheritance. I feel like if these motherfuckers got anything, it could have been a piece of jewelry or, so, I don't know, some candy. <laughs> okay, or they probably could have got left some money, but I feel like you could have got majority of it. <laughs> this is sad, bruh. Or this ex or, or, and whoever the fuck this karmic masculine is or karmic feminine is that tried to pull from you and take, take from you and give it to a karmic. Somebody could have tried to steal your spiritual abundance. abundance. This motherfucker is going broke. This motherfucker is going to be on their absolute ass trying to steal from a divine masculine or a divine feminine and give it to a karmic bitch. But if this is your family, these motherfuckers stole from you in the physical and inheritance. And I can't get off this message. I'm getting pissed off and mad and angry because I'm trying to figure out why the fuck these, I'm seeing it in the spirit. I'm trying to figure out why the fuck these motherfuckers are so mad because you want to spend your money the way you want to spend your money. They afraid. You probably, you ain't, look, yeah, they really afraid they going to jail. They going all right. Trying, they, they trying to get you locked up before they get locked up. Somebody is saying, well, damn, if I'm here when it all falls down, I'm telling you how. When it all falls down. Yeah, so somebody, I'm actually hearing somebody say, well, since I know divine feminine, divine masculine is innocent, but uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going out without a fight. I'm not going out without a bang. So you know what I'm saying? If I gotta go down for stealing this money and stealing this inheritance and trying to take divine feminine, divine masculine out, divine feminine, divine masculine gonna have to go out to, yeah, main male here, okay? This could even be a father. This could be a mother. This could be any fucking body. It could be anybody. Any karmic, karmic. But they're karmic here, all right. Somebody going to jail. I'm telling you, there's a karmic ass masculine here that's about to be locked the fuck up. Somebody going to come in and then somebody going to come out. So divine feminine, your person could be locked up. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. Somebody is saying, damn, I'm not going out without a fucking bang. I'm, I refuse to go out without a bang. Yeah, you're going to go out with a bang, all right. And Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you're going to come, you're going to pop out with a bang. Because you ain't going nowhere. These motherfuckers is going somewhere. This is a high pro federal profile case. I keep saying that. False pace person here in the reverse. Yeah, trying to paint you out to be something you not. Whole time you chosen. You the official person. You're not false. These motherfuckers is false. And that's why they finna take their false ass to jail. Okay, whoever this main male is here, this that could be anybody, a parental figure, whoever the fuck. Yeah, marriage card here. I'm telling you, there's definitely some type of ex-lover here that could already be in jail or some shit like that. There's definitely some type of ex-lover here that's going or already in that's mad because you're not their divine counterpart. They, they lost you. Somebody mad because they lost you. And they also tried to steal from you in the, in the spirit. Somebody tried to pull from you energetically and give it to a karmic, give it to a false person. Whole time, you was the goat. You was the chosen one the whole time, divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody fumbled the bag. Listen, sometimes people be like, they'll go after people in the physical. Oh, that person got more money than my person. So I'm going to leave my person and go jump on the other side of the grass. But the whole time, you're the one more abundant. That person might have more money in the physical, but you're spiritually abundant. But see, it's about unlocking 
codes. It's about unlocking locks. You feel what I'm saying? Don't look what's on the outside. Because somebody, a, a karmic motherfucker, a demon, a reptilian, a warlock, they can have all the money in the world, but that don't mean they're spiritually rich or abundant. That mean they making sacrifices. That can ruin your whole fucking life. That can ruin your whole goddamn world. Money don't make you happy, trust me. Yeah, when you on a lower level and you're sitting at the bottom and you like, damn, I'm broke. I don't got no money. Money will make me happy. But really, ask the most richest. Some of the most richest people got a whole bunch of money but unhappy. It's about morals, values, and integrity. So why you jumping on the bandwagon or you are you jumping on the other side or you trying to get on the other side of the grass because you think somebody is better than the person that you're already with? Somebody that God could have sent into your life. All you had to do was sit there and stick it out and do the work with this person. If you would have did the work and treated that person right, male or female, then you would have been able to unlock that spiritual abundance. But now you're pissed off and you're mad because this this chosen one had, don't want your ass no more, false person. This chosen one is going to unlock that in, uh, uh, abundance with their true person. Yeah, you can, you're going to stay your ass in jail. Are you going to, are you about to go? For whatever the fuck you tried to do to divine feminine, divine masculine, and you tried to steal their unexpected income, but they finna get it back. Period. They finna pop out with the great fortune that you stole. It might not be the actual money that you stole. In the physical, this may be spiritual. Y'all, I'm telling you now, this is a lover. This lover could have just tried to take from you spiritually. Your spiritual abundance. Now, your family, they stole money from you in the physical. Yeah, and this I told you, and this is a major court situation. Motherfuckers is mad. Motherfuckers is saying, well, since, since we getting in trouble for stealing this sudden wealth, this, this abundance, sudden wealth here, then, you know, if we got to go out with a bang. So I'm not, yeah, this bitch ain't getting out the house. She, she refused to get out the house. Well, you know what I'm saying? If I got to go out with a bang, then I got to, I got to make sure I got to, I got to spend the last, this, this bitch ain't got no more Margaret. Sick of you, Margaret. Whoever the fuck this is that's living in your house, that's going to finna be kicked the fuck out. Because that's in the reverse. This bitch ain't got no more money left. But the little bit of money that she do got, she's spending it to destroy your life. Somebody is saying, well, if I got to go, then I did. did, did, did. Yeah, and, and she's working with people in the community. People that like to jump on the bandwagon or people that actually believe this slow, retarded fuck. This bitch is dumb. This is a dumb hoe, a dumb old hoe. That I'm hearing Cindy Larper again. Girls just want to have fun. This is an old dumb hoe. They like to attack their own child, their own children, but expect a great change, period. In six to nine days or six to nine months or six to nine years, stay on your sacred journey because I'm telling you, you finna pop out like, like magic, like water, baby. Shit, coffin car. Some of these people gonna have to be taken the fuck out or go to jail in order for you to succeed, in order for you to be blessed. I can't get off of this shit. This shit not making sense. It's like, damn. It's like whether they took your money in the spirit or the physical, they don't want you to have the abundance. They don't They don't want it. To, if, if, if your money is in the spirit, your, your abundance is in the spirit, they don't want it to manifest in the physical. Okay? And they, 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 they just don't want you to have it in the physical at all. And they got the audacity to be mad. That's what I can't get over. Number one, because you're chosen and you're seen in high honor. But number two, it's like you you were never supposed to have this unexpected income. That's why they hid it from you. That's why they took it from you. You've been lied to probably your whole, your whole fucking life. But it's not about that. What I don't understand is, and I'm going to keep on asking you. I got two questions for the karmics and I got one for the chosen ones. The first question that I have for the karmics is... Divine feminine, divine masculine can't spend their money the way that they want to. They can't spend this gift the way that they want to. This mature woman, this mature man, I mean, you, that you tried to curse the work that you never fucking loved. They can't, they can't spend this gift the way they want. Why are you so concerned and worried about this? You need to be worried about get the fuck out of this house and looking out this window because I keep telling you, Margaret, there's a federal agent that live next door to you that's in an Airbnb. There's a federal agent that live on the on the uh, on the right and the left side of you. There's two federal agents that live on both sides of you, and there's one across the street that watch you and take pictures of you all day every day. Get the fuck out of this house. They're finna they finna kick you out. This is a high federal profile case. I'm going to keep saying the same thing over and over again. You already in bad health. Oh, that's maybe why you can't go nowhere. So you must be the bitch that I was picking up on yesterday that's been doing heavy death spells and black magic. That's going to return back to send on your ass. You're the one that I've been picking up on that's deteriorating from the inside out. God, may God bless you and help you, ma'am. 
Maybe that's why you can't go nowhere because your, your, your body is slowly breaking apart and falling down. You don't even, you don't have the money to go anywhere because you didn't spend it all. But the Ace of Pentacles came out three times. How the fuck can you have this much money and be broke? And a little bit of money that you do have left, you're, you're paying to get spell work done on Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You're paying to destroy their life because you don't want to go down by yourself. You want Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine to, to shield you from your karma. You want them to pay for the shit that you've done, but no, they're still going to pop out with the sudden wealth and the great fortune so whatever you stole or whatever you took they're about to get it back because that money probably had insurance on it whoever left it to divine feminine divine masculine and if it didn't have insurance money if you if you took it or you stole it they're still about to be blessed because divine feminine divine masculine has money in abundance in the spirit that's about to manifest in the physical damn thief bitch you're not a privileged lady or a privileged man you're none of that. Mature man, mature woman. Yeah, you want you, somebody mama, or whoever the fuck this is. Somebody, a copycat bitch. Somebody wants your life. Somebody want to be a divine masculine or a divine feminine, male or female. Somebody want to be you. And you're not. You're a copycat. You're not going to be wealthy. You're not going to be privileged. This is a, this is divine feminine, divine masculine, mature man, mature woman, privileged lady, wealthy man, destiny, 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 period. fucking family ain't shit poverty in the reverse family y'all motherfucking families out here want y'all in poverty spent all your goddamn money and laughed at you laughed at you took the motherfucking great fortune sudden wealth matter of fact they just took your great fortune or your sudden wealth i mean i don't your, your money is gonna be i mean i'm hearing young and may in my head my money never running out count the uh, cut the check bitch yeah your money ain't just gonna overflow this is an overflow in abundance you're gonna have so much money you're gonna have to hire an, uh, an accountant a bodyguard i mean this is too much money so much money not all of you but majority of you this is a lot of fucking money that's about to be returned to you this is something this is hard work and dedication this money don't just fall out of the sky. This money comes from the most high God. This is hard work and dedication on yourself and in the spirit. And these motherfuckers is in despair about this unexpected income you're about to receive. This relationship with courtship here in the reverse. They in despair about this. They trying to do everything to block it. Somebody is saying, if I got to go down, divine feminine, divine masculine is definitely going to go down with me. Child card here. So this could definitely be a mother or a father attacking you paying people you're gonna get a message of concern about all of this shit and this could definitely be an ex-lover as well yeah somebody didn't know your worth somebody thought that your uh, uh, another female or another masculine that's karmic was better than you because they had more than you on the outside or something whole time you were spiritually rich in the physical i mean in the spirit all they had to do was do the work. They ain't have to cuss you out. They ain't have to abuse you. They ain't have to mistreat you. All they had to do was just stick around a little bit longer. But it was a test. And they failed. They fell into temptation. You were being tested too. But what did you do, chosen one? You held on to the most high, high God. And that's why God got a gift for you. Here it come. It's coming. It's unexpected because you finna pop out. But I got one question for you because I already asked them the question. Because they're not going to stop. They're going to keep trying to figure out. They, they, they don't want you to. You, 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 come on. You can't do what you want to do with the money. It's your money. They spent your money the way that they wanted it. Remember, let me remind you what they did with your money. They went to Lakers games and Bulls games and Maverick games and Orlando Studios and Six Six Flags and motherfucking Hurricane Harbor and motherfucking Disney World and, you know, uh, I don't fucking know, and ice cream and motherfucking uh, hamburger and taco and motherfucking uh, 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 a new house and a new car and motherfucking everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like not only is you going to get your money back, privileged lady, wealthy man, you're going to marry into wealth. I mean, money from racks on racks on racks, racks on racks on racks. That old song I'm hearing in my head. Yeah, this is, man, please, baby, get out this house. Get out this house. You're, come on, baby. You can't go nowhere. You can't go nowhere because you, 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 bless your heart. You didn't, you know you didn't fucked up right. You didn't fucked up right. You didn't fucked up big time. All y'all been fucked up. Expect, expect a great change. I keep saying this shit. Shit don't make no goddamn sense. A new start is coming. I just seen it. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. There y'all go. Just hold on. Because you finna pop out. And I got one more question for y'all. And I'm finna get off this channel. What are you going to do with the money? Be smart. When you get this money, take your time. Take your time now. Don't just go buying up some shit like they did. Because they stupid than a motherfucker. I'm going to tell y'all a quick story and I'm going to get off this channel. 
When I was a little girl, my father used to always give. When I was a little girl, he would pick me up and he would buy him a chocolate milk if it was the morning time and he'll buy a lottery ticket. And when he went in that store, if it was anybody sitting in front of that store, he would give him a dollar, sometimes $10. If, it, if he had just got paid and he had cashed his check or he had just went to the bank, he would give a homeless man or a homeless person, he'd give somebody $10, $2, $3, $4. And then sometimes it would be the afternoon and, you know, he just getting off of work or it would be the weekend. He'll go get him a beer, a couple of lottery, lottery tickets, peanuts, hot peanuts, uh, hot chips. You know what I'm saying? And he'll give somebody something. He'll give a homeless man $10 or a crackhead. It didn't matter. For two, three, sometimes 20, whatever God placed on his heart. And when I, I, he did that, he probably, I'm, I guarantee you, my father still do that. And I don't even talk to my daddy. But as I grew up, even as an adult, I would ask my father, I would say, dad, why do you do that? Why do you give? And I said, what, wouldn't they just take the money? That used to be my question. Wouldn't they just take the money and, and get drugs with it? Or he said, it don't matter what they do with the money. It don't matter what they do with the money. As long as you give and when you give, don't even think about it. Don't, don't, don't expect nothing. Don't expect God to give you nothing in return. Just give it to him. You know what I'm saying? Just give it, just, just, just give, just give without any intention. Just give. And that's what the sad thing is about this reading. I know that may sound like a corny story, but that's the sad thing about this reading. It's the simple fact that they took the money that was for you and shit it on you. Whether they took your abundance in the spirit or the physical or both. They took it from you and had the nerve to talk about you like a dog, like you wasn't shit. Spending your money had the nerve to say you was broke, broke ass bitch, get some money. Broke ass nigga, get some money. But they spending your money or they took your energy and pulled from you and manifesting a life of abundance off of your blood, sweat, and tears. And got the nerve to talk about you like a dog and, had, and got the nerve not to give. No morals, no values, no integrity. So chosen one, divine feminine, divine masculine, be smarter than that. When you get this money in your hand, because it's different for everybody. Some of y'all are going to get lump sum. Some of y'all will get small money. I don't know. But think first. Think about it first. Give. Give it to somebody. I'm not saying give your money to somebody. I'm saying give something to somebody. I don't care. Ain't no shame in my game. I used to be homeless before too. Some of you can resonate with that. But I, uh, when I had money, I would give. I would share. I would help people. I'm not, not finna get into my personal life. But I'm just saying, man, this shit right here, these messages that I keep picking up on, it's pathetic. See, when you all the way down at the bottom... You wonder how people be all the way down at the bottom, all the way down on their feet and they don't lose hope because where can you go? All you can go is to the top. If you already at the bottom, all you can go is to the top. This is why I'm sitting in the position that I am today. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm exactly where God need, need me to be, if that makes sense. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens in divine timing. And unfortunately, these people time is a little bit almost up. And it's your time to go get your blessing. It's your time to shine. You did the work. Why they thought that they were stealing and taking from you in the spirit or the physical. It was just a growing blessing. It was just growing pains. It was just trials and tribulations that God allowed you to go to. Because obviously God allowed, him, allowed them to do it. Because where you were then... You wouldn't have been ready for the abundance. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have been ready for the, for the, you, you wouldn't have been, just think, just think back over your life chosen one. Would you would have been ready for this money or this, this great fall of blessings? Would you really, really been, would you put a, I can't even get it out, but would you have been ready for that 10, 3, 10, 20 years ago? We all changing and growing and evolving. Some of us, some of these karmics, they still doing the same shit they did a long time ago. But I'm just getting to the point. I'm just getting to the point. I hope y'all understand the moral of this reading and the moral of this story. I had to say this. Give. When you get this money, don't forget where you come from. 
however much this money is because I feel like it's so many of you that's about to be so blessed beyond measures for doing the work. You know, y'all don't even see. I can see in the spirit what the most high God is doing. When you get this money, I don't care. Before you do anything, pray. Ask God to order your steps. And after you do that, give. I don't care if it's $10, give. Give it to somebody that's in need. Don't ever forget because I'm telling you, if you continue to give, God will reciprocate that. It'll keep coming back to you over and over. And my dad was a gambler. He loved to play the lotto. Him and my granddaddy. May my granddaddy rest in peace. And I swear, my daddy would give. I would see my daddy give at that store, at them corner stores. See, crackheads or drunks or just anybody that homeless, anybody in need. He would give. And he would come back out with them same damn lottery tickets. We had $50, $100, $20, $30. I'm like, God damn, why the hell are you so lucky? Because I give. It's really sad. It's just this reading is sad. These readings that I've been doing have been long and sad. It really has. I'm finna get off this camera. Because I'm, st I'm starting to see something in the spirit that's really sad, man. How these people just take lump sum of money, keep secrets, hide shit, and don't even fucking give. How you gonna take somebody money and then talk about them and use stuff against them? How you gonna work in cahoots? How are you gonna how are you gonna go against your own blood, your own kind, even if it ain't your own blood, your own race, your own people? How, how you, the, the, don't revelations talk about something like this? How, how children will be starting to turn against their mother and father? How mother and father will start against, turn against, against their children? Family ain't even family no more, man. I can see these random people that we don't know out here that betray us, but your own families and shit. I just did a reading and I said money is the root of all evil. People will kill their own family, their own blood. You, you, you'll let all your morals, all your values, all your integrity go out the fucking window before you do right by your own kind, your own blood, your own people. Your so-called friend, your so-called family member, your so-called wife, your so-called husband, your so-called boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, brother, uncle, aunt, mama, daddy, I don't know, child, son, daughter. Sister, I mean, come on, man. And you keep up illusions to you. You got the nerve to lie on divine feminine, divine masculine. You got the nerve to try to keep divine feminine from walking, divine feminine, divine masculine from walking away. You got good, you got the audacity to still try to manipulate their life and their destiny because you don't want them to be seen all over the world, or you don't want them to be acknowledged, or you don't want them to be abundant. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. You don't want them to be loved. Nine of Cups here. You don't even want them to love their, they self. I gotta go. This is pathetic. I just got one question. Put it in the comment section. You ain't gotta tell me what you're gonna do with the money. Keep it, keep it to yourself because so many of you, all of you chosen one, are about to be blessed beyond measures. You finna pop out. But just all I ask you to do is be smart. Give. Don't forget where you come from. Give. Cause some of you will get uh, are about to get lump sums of money, some more, some smaller than others. And these group of people that's been working in cahoots, that's been trying to play God in your life, they're going to have to watch you eat. They so worried about this, they don't know what to do. And watch you be in love at that. Whatever's being stole from you, God is about to give it back to you tenfold. Remember to give, okay? Please remember to give. This is crazy. This is this is beautiful, man. But I'm I can't spirit won't let me say everything that I'm seeing, but this is beautiful. Congratulations to all of you, including myself, man. What God is about to do is amazing. Congratulations, you guys. These people, it's over for these people. It's they've they've done too much. They've done way too much. Okay. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and goodbye. Bye, y'all.